And now, Silicon Angle TV and Wikibon.org present a focus spotlight. Live from Las Vegas at VMworld 2011, host John Furrier and Dave Valente illuminating new models for cloud service providers with support from SolidFire. Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante from Wikibon.org and this is SiliconANGLE and SiliconANGLE.TV's continuous coverage of VMworld 2011. Um, I just want to uh, let the audience know out there, uh, if you want to get full coverage of VMworld, go to SiliconANGLE.com, go to SiliconANGLE.TV, go to Wikibon, check it out. If you got questions, hopefully we have answers. Uh, this is the Cloud Service Provider Spotlight segment. We're profiling new storage architectures and new enablement. Uh, a, a focus of this spotlight has been uh, quality of service, enabling new applications. Um, and we've got uh, a panel now that we're going to have a discussion around uh, these topics. Uh, we just heard uh, uh, SoftLayer and VirtuStream, two very interesting disruptive cloud service providers. Um, uh, Duke Scarta is back and, and Matt Thur for, uh, from VirtuStream, uh, Duke from SoftLayer. Uh, Softlayer. And we're also joined by David Wright, uh, CEO of uh, SolidFire and also founder of Solid Fire uh, uh, as well. So, welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming you. on the cube. So, uh, uh, David, we heard uh, from VirtuStream and Soft uh, Layer. I'd like to start uh, with you. Solid Fire, new company, just came out of Stealth. We met uh, actually at uh, in May yep. at EMC World, ironically. Um, <laughs> tell us about Solid Fire. Yeah, so uh, you know, SolidFire was really born out of my experience at, uh, at another cloud service provider at Rackspace. Uh, I was there for about a year and a half after they acquired my last company and, and really saw a lot of the challenges uh, that Duke and Matt talked about earlier with providing storage in a cloud environment, providing uh, both the scalable storage that's needed as well as the performance, the quality of service, uh, the availability, everything that's expected of storage in the cloud. And, and that was really the genesis of SolidFire, the, the desire to solve some of these challenges with traditional storage. Use really interesting technology like solid state, uh, compression, deduplication, e efficiency technologies uh, to solve both the performance as well as the scalability cost challenges of, of uh, primary storage for cloud. Let's, so um, let's get right into it. I mean, maybe, maybe share with our audience who might, oftentimes we get the CNBC Wall Street Journal crowd listening in and, and they might not be as uh, familiar with some of the, some of the issues in the, in the areas of storage. So, um, the problem is, if I could set it up and then you guys can, can correct me or drill in a little further, is you know, for years, uh, applications have assumed that there's going to be spinning disk out there and spinning disk is slow compared to uh, you know, semiconductor speeds. Um, and now, this, so this concept of flash comes in and for the first time, we have persistent flash um, that is much, much faster and it sort of changes the way we think about applications. Uh, but, there's a, there's a drawback. It's, expensive. Um, so what we've seen now is tons of innovation in Flash, all this money pouring in, and we're starting to see prices and configurations come in line with traditional arrays, right? Yeah. And that changes the way you guys think about architecting storage. So, so why don't we start um, uh, uh, right to left uh, with Matt. How does that change the way in which you think about storage? Right, so, so the advent of the uh the speed and the performance of Flash is really, it, it, in a lot of ways, it's inverted what's been the traditional problem, right? The tr traditional problem is we've run out of performance before we've run out of, out of space, right? Um, and Flash technology, in, in a lot of ways, inverts it, right? We, we actually uh, can run out of space before we run out of performance, and to my mind, that's a, that's a, a far better situation to be in. Um, because uh, you know it, it's relatively easy to add space. It's not. It's never been as easy to add performance. So, so Duke, when when we think about cloud storage, we oftentimes think about um, object storage, or we think about files. Um, where's where's block based storage and applications that run on block based storage fit in the cloud? Well, it it, it fits in a number of different ways. Um, uh, first of all, it. Block storage is behind a lot of the uh, cloud infrastructures that are out there in a, in a couple of different ways, um, either behind a NAS or a SAN. So it's, it's very important from a platform perspective, but also as secondary storage. Uh, uh, our customers use it quite a bit as a, um, a, a way to have um, detached storage that they can move from cloud server to cloud server as well. 
So David, um, when you started SolidFire, uh, drawn on your experience as Rackspace, I presume you weren't trying to solve the problem of archiving and backup. <laughs> no, not, not really. You know, I, I, what I really saw is that there were, there were a number of smart companies that were focused on the backup and archival piece of cloud storage, guys like Nervonics and Scality and uh, other guys that were building these large-scale capacity-oriented storage systems. But really there wasn't anybody that was focused on high-performance primary storage. Uh, that area, there just was a lot of legacy enterprise hardware and there wasn't much uh, innovation, there wasn't much new stuff coming into that space, and even the places where Flash was being introduced, it wasn't being done in a way that was really appropriate for the cloud, uh, and I really thought that, that there was a new approach that was needed, there was a different focus on, on how to use Flash um, to not just make the system faster, because it's anybody can put Flash in a box and get a lot of performance, uh, but to really focus on the ability to, to guarantee quality of service, to guarantee uh, SLAs around performance, storage, uh, availability, things like that. Um, Flash could be a component of that solution, but there was really a lot more technology that needed to be built around that, and, and that was really what we did with SolidFire. So the, you know, the, the, um, the good news is a lot of investment going on in this area. Uh, there's a lot of competition, and that's a good thing in a way, because it says you might have a good idea, uh, but at the same time there's a lot of competition. So you specifically uh, has have taken your company and targeted the cloud service provider marketplace right. exclusively, right? At least initially. Yeah. Uh, talk about why. Uh, you know, I think there are a couple of reasons that we decided to, to do that. Certainly my background, my experience there, uh, understanding of the market was a big reason to do that. Um, but we also felt that it was, uh, you know, as I mentioned, an area that wasn't getting as much attention from either the startups or the, or the big companies. There was, uh, there was a big hole that, uh, that we needed to fill and uh, there's a lot of other great flash storage companies, flash storage startups out there that are targeting other spaces and filling other needs. Uh, but this is really the, the area that we thought um, was a huge opportunity, both now and, and based on the growth of the cloud, uh, it's going to be a, a huge market in years to come. And, and, and VirtuStream and, and SoftLayer, storage is not your business. I mean, uh, you, know, you mentioned, uh, Dave, you mentioned Nirvonic, so they're a cloud service provider, but it's just all they do storage. Mm -hmm. Storage is not the only thing you guys do, and you're selling all, t all types of different services, but 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 where storage fit in the in the in the in the priority pie or the or the the problem pie? Don't you? Storage storage is has always been uh, from virtualized infrastructures of a few years ago up to the to the modern cloud service provider. Storage has always been probably the most difficult problematic area of any infrastructure. Um, so, the, and our business is about providing. The compute, the, the the horsepower for our customers to run to run their applications, their enterprise applications, and that's that's not only CPU and memory and and network I/O, that's disk I/O and disk performance and the ability to store the data. So storage is a huge part of it, uh, of our of of our design considerations. But our business is providing the horsepower. And you would agree with that, Duke? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Anything, um, anything you'd add? Yeah, uh, well, you know, I mean, there's compute is nothing without either storage and a network to get to it. Um, so it's our our ability to sell compute power and servers is only as good as our ability to to sell the the rest of the infrastructure that our customers need. And um, as uh, as he said, storage has always been one of the unsolvable problems. You can only do as much as physics will allow on a spinning disk. Um, SSDs and you know what what a lot of these new guys are doing is they're not just uh, throwing flash at it, but they're they've really stepped back and they're they're taking advantage of the compute power that's available today as well, and they're rearchitecting the whole way to build an S, which and a SAN, which is which is what's really exciting to us is it's not just putting SSD into a SAN, they've really reworked the whole way the thing operates. What does that mean for um, your ability to develop offerings? Uh, do, do you feel like it? Um, cuts your cost of delivering quality of service, or is it more than that? Does it allow you to go after a bigger market? Yeah, I think it's much more than our ability to cut costs. We're not, obviously we always like to be able to, uh, to lower our expenses, and lower our costs for our customers, but this is really much more about um, being able to um, enable our customers in a way that we haven't been able to before. So it's, it's really about offering new solutions, not just lowering the cost of existing solutions. Mm. Us to complement our quality of service, which runs through our infrastructure, it 
it, it really complements our, our ability to, to provide those guarantees and our SLAs uh, of, our, of our infrastructure. Uh, it just it ties very nicely into our ability to do that and it allows us to do it in a very, uh, a very cost effective manner, but it allows us to expand the scope of our services and start looking at new ways to drive innovation and services and, uh, and really drive value for our customers. Uh, so David Wright, I, I want to ask you, um, startup, you know, we know startups are faster, they're more nimble, uh, they, they focus like a laser on a problem, uh, hopefully they fly, fly, fly under the radar for a period of time, uh, but you're going after some big whales in a way. I mean, what you're doing is very disruptive, so talk a little bit about um, the lead that you feel you have, how, how confident you are in that lead, and um, just add some color there if you could. Yeah, you know, obviously, we're very proud of the technology. We're very uh, proud of the architecture that we've built. Um, you know, we think we've got some really unique IP behind that, some really unique architecture that, you know, like I say, is more than just about putting SSD in a box. Um, the challenge that I think a lot of the, uh, the legacy storage providers have is SSD is so fast, it strains every aspect of the storage system. The controller architectures, the processor architectures, the network uh, bottlenecks are very different. And you need a different approach to be able to harness all of that power, not just to deliver the performance that Flash has, but then do interesting things with it. Do things like the data efficiency, the compression, the duplication, the quality of service. And we really feel the only way to do that is with a true scale at architecture, uh, an architecture that allows you, as you add more capacity, to get more CPU, more memory, more network, more processing power, to bring to bear to deliver all of that performance. Uh, and so we really think that's one of the big advantages we have. We're really the first scale at architecture that has been built from the ground up around Flash. Um, while certainly Flash can be retrofitted and bolted on to existing solutions, you're just not going to be able to get the full benefit that it can, uh, you can derive from it, and you're certainly not going to be able to derive the cost efficiencies from technologies like deduplication and compression while still getting that Flash performance, unless you've designed your system around that. Yeah, and you're going to have to prove it, of course, because the big guys are going to say, you know, they're going to go to you and say, we'll have that in 18 months or whatever, nine months. In nine months, we're going to have everything that these guys have. And it might be 18 or 24 months and they have it, but they'll freeze the market and do all those things. So you got to have the proof points. Yep. That's why it's interesting to see SoftLayer and VirtuStream. You guys are, I mean, I don't know if the big whale comes in and says that to you. What's your reaction? Okay, we'll wait <laughs> or... Uh, I mean, there's, uh, there's eight, risk, eight, you know. Eight, well, th there there's absolutely is risk, right? And we obviously weigh risk versus benefit. Um, but you know, 18, 18 months, nine months in, in the world of IT in this, this market, uh, that's like, you know, dinosaurs to modern man, right? It moves yeah. so fast that you have to take advantage of the technology. And if it's the right technology and it pans out and, and the, the, the risk cost benefit is there, you got to move on so it. So if I, if I were to put you in a camp, you were in a camp who would take the risk with a startup to get that new value and get to market faster and manage those risks. You know, you got risk management systems and, it, and, it, it's and, definitely and, and ways to do at, that. Right? That's yeah. what you do. That's what that's yeah. what young companies that are aggressive exactly. and smart do. You have to be aggressive. We if love you the disruption. A big company. <laughs> right. Good. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, thanks very much, guys, for coming on the cube and give us a, a, a deeper, uh, a detailed overview of you know your storage challenges. Dave Wright. Good luck with, with Solidfire and. Uh, Appreciate you guys coming on. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks All right. Guys.